when temptation comes, that, that is your es escape point. You will register his displeasure. And you will know you will lose something if you yield. Then suddenly strength comes to you. Sometimes you cry. And the tears is not because... It is because of what you lost. You lost your pride. So that you will yield. And it keeps killing you. It keeps... It keeps... It keeps paralyzing every intention for you to use the flesh to prove a point. Because it's not by power. By might. It is by the Spirit of God. You want to show your wife the kind of hatred that will make her respect you. Then he shows her. But you know you don't need to prove a point. You are with me. Ah, that's why I bought a guitar. So that when his commandments are very, very strong, even though I can't play it, I will string something and look for a song. Because it constrains me. <laughs> you want to, the only thing, the only way to, to, to restore your masculinity is to give a slap. And then he say, ah, if you give that slap, your wilderness journey will be prolonged for two years. You will walk the wilderness again. Then you go and take your guitar and just... If you know this love that I'm talking about, you will give up anything, everything to keep it. It's affectionate. You can feel it. It will touch your heart. Take my house. Take my car. Take everything. Leave Jesus. Come back in 14 years time. You will know I lost nothing. <laughs> so it is affectionate. It is when you become affectionate with God that he can constrain you. And it's a blessing for you to be constrained. Someone will do you so much evil. And you are looking for how to retaliate. Then he say, ah. Then you will know that if you do anything, you will lose your relationship with him. You, you, just, you just comport yourself. And you laugh. You say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know you have something with him. You see, remember what Peter said at the gate, beautiful. He said, look on us. Or silver and gold I do not have. But such as I have, I give you. Peter knew he had something with Jesus. It was from that which he had with Jesus that he sponsored that miracle. I used to work in the oil industry in my country. And I was posted to Lagos. My welcome to Lagos was that they stole my car. The Holy Spirit showed me three days before they stole it. In a dream that people took my car. And when they took my car, I wanted to look for it and we have a senior pastor in our nation called pastor Adepoye of the redeemed christian church of god he told me he said don't look for that car go back don't look for it so i now told my wife i said i saw her the dream they stole our car and pastor Adepoye said i should not look for it three days later they stole our car I hope you know the instruction has already come. All the people that heard told me the criminal implication that my driver's license was in a car. The people can go in and use the car and rob and they will trace it to me. That should go to the police station. That's what to do. I said, thank you. I've heard you. But I didn't obey them because I don't know them. I know Jesus. Someone can just come into your life now. He wants to, he wants to help you. Go to Canada. Help I don't know you guys sit down. It's only the voice I know I will follow. So they advised me, but it was already given to me that I should not look for it. So I didn't look for it. And I had each monthly salary I re received was enough to buy a car. And the, the Lord will not allow me to buy a car. And I did not buy one for seven years. If you know the love I speak of, there will be advertisements in terms of temptation. To draw your attention from God but if you have anything with him it is that love that will constrain you in the days to come when the Satan comes to sell his products before your face if you have something with him that love that you have with him it will constrain you <laughs> ah, see, Moria, mama. because he wanted me to know 
that the only security I had was him. That I don't need anything to add to the sense of my being. Oh, some of you believe that you'll be diminished if you exist without a car. You don't, you have not gone far, you don't know him. So your 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 um your, your self-esteem, your your estimation of yourself is diminished without a house in Elephant and Castle. So for seven years he won't let me buy a car. I use public transportation. And those of you that know Lagos, you know the yellow buses? Oh, I used to cruise in them. Most of the iconic revelations I received from Jesus were in those buses. My colleagues called me a Jew. They gave me names. But what was going on with me was personal. And there was no way I could explain it to them. That there was so much of spiritual energy that was restraining me and I could not understand it but I knew the will of the one that lost me he wanted me to stay without a car and I stayed for seven years allow him constrain him oh you may not know how many people had called me names just because of my pursuit of God I became immune to names people considered me odd it was because the hunger I had had separated me from the normal sons of men. Not many came to me and said, if it is true, it is God you are seeking, there should be results. Because a time came in the body of Christ when our God became results, became breakthrough. Meanwhile, I had opportunities to preach in many nations. I went to Jesus and asked him, are you the one that opened the door? He said, no, he's not aware of any door. If your God is breakthrough, you will be far away in in New York, when Jesus will say, How did you get there? <laughs> How? I'm not aware of this woman. But my God is not breakthrough. My God is Jehovah. And Jehovah is not willing to reveal it to anybody if he has not processed you. He will never use any stone that he has not tried. He knows that on the bed of trials, Many will deny him. And that's why many might be called. But eventually only few can be chosen to do the task. Those are the ones that survive the process. It's personal. Satan will begin to speak to through people that are close to you. To make you feel like a fool because you are following Jesus. Oh, if you have not found security in Christ Jesus, you will live a lie. But I tell you, the time has come. The hour has come and now is when the true worshippers they shall worship the father in spirit and in truth <laughs> yes these are the days of light and that which god has been incubating for so long that people misunderstood we wear such such light such glory such illumination the hand of god will be made manifest and all eyes will see it If you are still here, say Amen. Amen. <laughs> Secondly, if it's a kiss, then it must be affectionate. Turn your Bible to the book of John, chapter 4, verse 24. Are you then John 4 24? He said, God is spirit, and they that worship him. Anyone with an electronic Bible here, can you click on worship? You will see a Greek word there. Tell us what the Greek word is. Uh, where's Pastor Mike? You are. Yeah. Do you have an electronic Bible that has a lexicon? So click on worship. Tell us what you see. And tell us the meaning. If you do, if you do well, you will find that it's proskineo. Is that clear? What's the meaning of proskineo? It's, it's a kiss. It means that your yes, it's a kiss. When the Bible says the. Yeah, there's an affectionate dimension of God. Something you will feel on your heart. You know, you can start praying and it's plastic. 
It's just mechanical. But when you start feeling it on your heart, that's when it is ascending to heaven. Because anything that cannot change your, affect your heart, cannot change your life. You will feel it. 